Hello, I'm Dr. Greg Chernoff, and we're here today demonstrating uh, utilizing the uh, carbon dioxide laser uh, to excise uh, the keloid on this patient's right ear. Uh, we're also going to be utilizing uh, placentally derived exosomes from Chimera Labs. The benefit of utilizing uh, the exosomes is the fact that they're very rich in a multitude of growth factors, particularly TGF beta 3, which is instrumental in uh, healthy neocollagenization as well as vascularization. Uh, also very rich in messenger RNA for the development of new proteins and microRNA, which act as the on-off switches for the development of a new uh, tissue. Uh, over the last two years, when we've combined excising the keloids with the carbon dioxide laser and exosomes, we're seeing a zero uh, recurrence rate. So this has really revolutionized the treatment of keloids. We're going to utilize the CO2 laser to first excise the keloid. So you can see this uh, maintains in your bloodless field as we're as we're excising, the ear is very vascular, and if we were using a scalpel, uh, there would be uh, significantly more heme than we are than we are seeing here. Come right up and, and there you go. So we've excised the keloid. Thank you. And again, so now we're going to uh, do a little cautery here, and then we'll be injecting the periphery and the, the base uh, with exosomes. Now we're going to inject the perimeter with exosomes, as well as flood the bed. Uh, I've been able to undermine uh, the, uh, the tissue such that we'll be able to close this primarily. Uh, if we weren't, then we would also uh, utilize either an amniotic patch. Uh, uh, if it were going to be open, then we'll also use some Vigilon to seal the exosomes uh, in place for uh, 24 hours uh, as well. So I'm, I'm injecting the soft tissue as well as the cartilage uh, with exosomes, and we'll use the rest now to uh, uh, to simply flood, flood the bed. So we've completed excising this keloid with the carbon dioxide laser. I was able to undermine the tissue enough such that we were able to get a primary closure with this. We flooded the bed and the periphery with exosomes. We're going to do that one more time now that it's, uh, now that it's closed. So again, we're flooding the bed, flooding the periphery with the exosomes, which will facilitate uh, healing. So. Again, that was a, a beautiful demonstration of excising the keloid with a carbon dioxide laser and utilizing the power of exosomes to aid in normal wound healing.